I make video games, and I'm going to teach you a little bit about math with video games. Hence, the bio of this YouTube channel is turning your boring math class into video games. The whole premise of my game, Starhead, is about balls, but not just any ball, bouncy balls, balls that hit stuff. And we're going to do the math of balls hitting stuff. So when a ball hits, let's say, a wall, you can imagine two arrows. These arrows in kinematic physics are usually denoted as normal and a tangent velocity of the ball. We try to calculate the velocity of an object before and after collision occurs. So in a way, it's like you're doing time travel math. But for now, we're just focusing on the vectors. I'm not actually going to do any calculations here. This is just a visual demonstration. Within the first six months of Starhead, I did a lot of experimenting with unique math-inspired mechanics that isn't designed to feel like necessarily a study tool, but just like a cool, fun thing to play around with. So the normal vector always points perpendicular to the surface of whatever the ball touches. And then the tangent is always parallel to the surface. And so you guys probably remember perpendicular parallel. So this idea was supposed to be the platform that you would jump on and it would move on, but you had to control which direction it went. When I made this prototype, I had two versions, the tangent block and the normal block. When you hit the tangent block, it's essentially, it just takes in the tangent velocity and converts it to the output, which in this case, the tangent velocity is always the same, regardless if it's before or after collision, because we're assuming that this block is static and doesn't actually move. But of course, this is a video game, not an actual homework assignment. So I get to break whatever rules I want just to focus on the fundamentals and so people can actually have fun. You don't actually have to learn anything. I just want you guys to feel like badass. So the normal block, it takes the perpendicular vectors. And so the block would move right because that away is the normal velocity after the ball hits the block. So the reason why I ended up not going with this platform is because it didn't really fit game design. And the time I was making this mechanic, I was more focused on making cool mathematical concepts rather than actually making useful mechanics that serve the core of the gameplay. I'm glad I went down this route because it taught me some lessons and I broke this off into other mechanics. One of them is what I call the elevator. It's a boring ass name and it's misleading because it doesn't go up and down. It actually goes multiple directions depending on the nodes. And these nodes all have a vector. We only really care about two dimensions. So in this case, X and Y. So one and zero is an example here. And the point is the node. So once the elevator touches this node or this point, and then much like the old mechanic idea, the output is the direction it moves. I'm just displaying the direction that this elevator is moving at each of these nodes or points. In the boss, I made these fuel cells, which because I played with a lot of bionicles as a kid. So I always liked seeing stuff get blown to pieces and taken apart and put back together. I just thought it was an interesting way to defeat a boss without just spamming and attacking it in any direction. It takes a little bit more strategy here. So what does this have to do with math? It, it does move just like the elevator, but the th one thing that this boss can do is shoot projectiles, but not just any projectile, because again, this is a math inspired game. And so he shoots X and Y bullets or X and Y balls. And so you can see in cases where if you have a perfectly vertical or horizontal wall and, and floor, regardless, the Y is always going to move up or down. Again, I'm breaking rules here. This is not how ball would actually behave. But what happens when you have an irregular shape, like a snail? There's many curves, so meaning there's many slo different slopes. Different slopes means different tangents, different normals. And so in terms of game design, well, this kind of makes creating a somewhat nice predictable experience for the player difficult right if you want a pure physics simulator but you're also trying to make let's say donkey kong or mario a clone well a lot of these ideas are going to conflict so this is where i again once again break the laws of physics i treat the snail as a simple shape like a circle well, really the shape doesn't really matter basically regardless of where the ball lands it acts as if it's hit the center of the snail 
and then I would fix the normal and tangent lane to mimic the X and Y. So normal points up and down, tangent goes left and right. And depending on which direction the ball or your head in this case hits the enemy, it's going to go exactly 45 degrees up the tangent line every single time. So you can do cool things like this. <laughs> Guys, I'm just going to be honest with you. As I was drawing these, I thought to myself, why didn't I just record myself while doing this? It would have been way more natural. Well, you live and learn. I know next time. So next time I do something like this, I'll try to be better. I can go way more in detail in this if I wanted to, but this is a small channel. I have no idea what my audience wants yet. So I'm just doing this uh, shing-a-bang, wing-a-dang, random shit type video so if you like this kind of stuff again go to the comment section be mean bro i, I ain't gonna get my feelings hurt and be like yo this video sucks but i actually got the idea and i'll be like oh man that's cool i'll take that we'll, we'll do better next time man don't worry uh if you want to know more details i'll gladly go deep in the shit i'm making video games about math i'm telling people that i'm not really making an educational game that's about homework because the education system's too rigid but yet here i am taking on the challenge of selling the idea that i you can do something like this yet in reality i have no idea but i'm gonna try anyway so yeah